so what I'm going to talk about today is um, stove performance testing and basically uh, what we test for and why we do it. Um, really the, af the way it's going to be is we're going to do lectures like this in the morning and discussions and then really all the afternoon and part of the mornings is really going to be us testing because for us really that's, that's the idea besides de design is verifying the design. So next slide Jimmy, if you don't mind. And this is the reason. So Aprovecho, a little bit of our history if you don't know it, we started in 76. Um, if you don't know the story, it was, there was a large earthquake in Guatemala and there were six artisans and they knew mud they, and they knew people and so, but they didn't know stove design and they didn't, certainly didn't know testing. So they working you know, just with what they thought they were doing, they built this big beautiful stove they called the Lorena stove which is mud and sand in Spanish, Lodo y Arena. And it, was this lar it wasn't exactly like this, but it was this large massive stove that had a chimney and had pots for stoves and that was it. And they asked the people, do you like my stove that I made you? And the people were like, you know, they're in their kitchen, they gave them a gift, and what do you say when your aunt gives you a very ugly sweater? You say, oh, I love it. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, beautiful sweater. And so, you know, people said they loved the stove, and really, you had the designer hearing what they wanted to hear, you had the people getting a gift, so they're going to say that, and then funders basically want, they also said, ah, oh, do the, ask the people they love the stove, they ask the designer if it's a good stove, the designer says yes, and all of a sudden, Aprovecho is finding itself being flown all around the world, writing books, design, uh, distributing the stove called the Lorena stove. Um, well, about five years pass on from 76, and, and in 81, Aprovecho purchases this 40-acre land trust. And about the similar time, science is finally taking a look at the stove. And we, what turned out was that the Lorena stove, when used improperly, which it often was, could use much more fuel than the three stone fire. So once actual people who knew how to test and validate stoves came out, it turned out this stove, for the reasons that Dean talked about and the, and the principles Larry will go over in detail, could use and often did use much more fuel than the traditional stove. Local materials, had a chimney, uh, you know, so it had some great things about it, but Reality-wise, when you're trying to save fuel, which was what people's focus was at that time, because they didn't have the, the science and the testing along with it, this is what we call, uh, our, you know, the approvacial start in the world was brought on by what we call a, a, a very large failure. But for, for us, it was a very good failure because it taught us to look at what we call first principles of design as well as methodologies for testing and to make sure we don't repeat that mistake. So then when Aprovecho in throughout the 80s and then into the 90s went back to the drawing board to look at stove design, we made sure this time we had science, third parties uh, on our side as well as principles and <laughs> testing methodologies. Alright, so what do I usually like to say? What is our task at stove testing? Why do we stove test? Well, you know, you might say it's pretty simple. It's to determine what the health and fuel use impact of every stove we built for its entire life in comparison to the stove that they're, that they're replacing. All right, oh yeah, just really that easy. So for Aprovecho, we're probably in the plus, in all the projects we've worked in, we're in the plus millions of stoves that we've helped put out there. So what do we really want to try to get some idea of? What is the fuel savings and health impact savings of every stove we have out there, its entire lifespan? So it's, an, it's a task that can't be done. The, even if you're only doing a stove project of 100 stoves, it's very difficult to really know what the exact savings of the entire lifespan of just those 100 stoves. But you get into the 100 million stoves that we're hoping to have as the, part of the Global Alliance in the next 10 years, and you just can't know the truth that's out there. So we have certain tools to try to get a little window into that truth, and that's really what stove testing is, is, a, is trying to get a little, a little tiny window into what is really happening in the world. 